Well, a very good evening and uh, welcome to this uh, live streaming from the Tribune Network. I'm Rohit Bhan. There seems to be no end to the crisis in Punjab Congress. After an all-out war between uh, Navjot Singh Sidhu and uh, uh, Chief Minister Cap Captain Amrinder Singh over the Kotkapura firing incident, now it is a time of many legislators to come out in the open and support uh, Mr. Navjot Singh Sidhu and also uh, make certain allegations which seem to be very serious in nature. Today, MLA from uh, Jalandhar Kant, uh, Mr. Paragat Singh, uh, made some serious allegations against Chief Minister uh, Captain Amrinder Singh. Joining me uh, live, my senior colleague, uh, Rajmeet Singh, for more on this. Uh, Rajmeet, first tell us what are these allegations which are leveled by uh, Mr. Paragat Singh? Uh, good evening, Rohit. Uh, I must uh, take you into the background. For the last few days, a group of MLAs and ministers have been, you know, meeting expressing concern over the delay in action on Bragadi and uh, Sacrilege. So, Pargat Singh was one of the MLAs who was meeting Navjo Sidhu, Charanji Channi, Sukhshinder Randhawa, Pate Bajwa, Kiki Dillo. These are the MLAs which were meeting. So, uh, uh, on last Thursday evening, uh, he got a uh, that's what he claimed today, uh, that he got a call from the political secretary of the Chief Minister, Captain Sandeep Sandhu, that, you know, uh, you please... Uh, a threatening uh, call as he as Pargat claims that you know uh, we are going to book you you have been creating problem and uh, now you face police action right. so he said he said that for la two days he was in a state of shock being a captain of uh, the Indian hockey team uh, such type of uh, uh, message he never expected so today he uh, um, uh, came in public to share his concern about the call and he dared the chief minister and uh, the government to probe, uh, launch any vigilance inquiry against him or a police inquiry, he is ready to face. So but basically he says, yeah, yeah, he, his voice is muzzled because he was one of the uh, persons who has been, you know, uh, writing to Captain Amarinder Singh, speaking on, uh, on uh, TV channels, uh, you know, the, nothing has happened in the mining and uh, power purchase agreements on Bargadi. So he was one of the voices. Uh, but rather, uh, many would wonder why did it uh, take uh, Mr. Pargat Singh, uh, as he himself mentioned that the call came on Thursday or Friday, so many days for him to come yeah. out and level these allegations against uh, the Chief Minister. He says that, you know, he was in a uh, two days, he could not, uh, you know, come to terms with the reality that he has been threatened. Right. Uh, because he said he has always remained in the party protocol. So he said he done consulted his friends, colleagues. Then he decided to, you know, uh, bring in uh, public domain before you know, it's too late. You, I mean to say that, you know, tomorrow any action is initiated against him. So he should, you know, tell everyone about it. Right. Also, uh, Rajmeet, another story which you have highlighted through the day is uh, the human, uh, the woman commission uh, sending notice to uh, Minister Charanjit uh, uh, Chenni. Uh, now, many would argue yeah. now this is uh, some of uh, the supporters of uh, Mr. Navjot Singh Sidhu would say those that those who are, you know, somehow uh, siding with Mr. Sidhu, they are being intimidated by uh, the, the, the chief minister. Uh, what is uh, What are these allegations as far as Mr. Chani is concerned? Yeah, it's a very interesting uh, uh, development which are happening in the government. You know, suddenly the timings of the actions against the ministers or the news coming in uh, different uh, social media regarding the ministers or the MLAs, the timing is just questioned. Chani, you know, 2018, uh, September or October, uh, there was a case of, uh, you know, uh, as uh, Chani sending a message to one of the ICE officers, women ICE officer of Punjab Kader. So, a uh, lot of, you know, political drama happened. Then, you know, uh, Women Commission took a, a notice of that, of the media reports. Then the, uh, the Women Commission reported that the Chief Minister has uh, stated in press uh, statements that the you know, matter has been sorted out. He has advised Chani. It was sent by mistakes. Right. Now, suddenly after two and a half years, Women Commission wakes up. You know, two and a half years did not, done, uh, it did not uh, do anything. It has judicial powers. It did not do anything. The chairperson of the Women Commission claims in today in a today press conference, she said that, you know, there has been a pressure from IS officers lobby that, you know, you have done nothing on the two years you have been sitting. So suddenly one of the vernacular dailies reported a story uh, drawing uh, parallels between some cases in Maharashtra and Karnataka and, you know, why nothing has happened against uh, uh, Channi in Punjab. So right. the Women Commission takes a note of that. 
and the timing is when chenni is you know um, you know uh, is with that group which is trying to create pressure on the chief minister to act in the bargadian sector lodge right so that is the uh, right so so uh, does it indicate i mean what is the uh, you know claims of uh, the uh, mr sidhu's camp uh, that captain uh, amrinder singh government is now trying to intimidate those who are trying or seemingly siding with mr sidhu am i right in my no. assessment no no there is a slight difference last right. time i also told you know there there is right. a very thin line difference between the siddhu camp and non siddhu camp right, right basically these group of mla say that mm-hmm. they have not challenged the even pargat singh today said that he has never challenged the authority of the captain minister as a chief minister or they have never discussed you know removing him or creating a pressure group right they say we are for the party we are for the party we are safe for, safe for the sake of the party and the poll prophecy is made we have no personal grudge with the chief minister right that is one group hmm. now they are joining with siddhu is a separate group now since both the uh, siddhu and these mlas have come on one platform regarding bargadi right. so it is being viewed in political circle as a pressure group which is being created right on the chief minister a political threat to the chief minister so basically uh, yes right uh, nay go ahead yeah yeah please ask the okay. question okay now uh, then what has been the reaction of uh, captain amrinder singh or from the cm's office or those in the cmo uh, to these allegations sir they totally mum we try to contact uh, contact uh, the political advisor he did uh, pick up the call but he you know dismiss nothing i cannot say there is nothing nothing but he is dismissive about everything the chief minister office has not clarified we have sent a request we have sent a request and uh, but the chief minister office has not clarified so far we are waiting for the reply because the women commission has also written to the chief secretary uh, seeking status report of this two and a half year old case and even you know very interestingly the chairperson of the of the constitutional body has threatened to sit on dharna in front of the chief minister office which is very what is strange right you know th- that a commission has judicial power sh- she can straight away or the commission can straight away recommend an fir that's you right know, to the police right. but, but in such uh, the things are uh, it's it's a very interesting uh, chain of sequence of events which is happening right and also uh, rajmeet about uh, you know the the, the so called i mean some reports suggesting that there could be a vigilance probe against uh, navjot singh sidhu and his uh, wife Uh, what happens yeah. to that i mean these were reports uh, which emerged yeah. so, so when when i i, I should take you back uh, uh, because i was reporting also then also right. um, uh, in 2019 before siddu exited from the cabinet he resigned right. you know uh, there was there was a move to you know replace him uh, they changed his departments mm-hmm. so there was a complaint in 2019 against uh, mr siddu his wife and a close associate bhani sandhu there was some uh, issues regarding zirakpur uh, 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 permissions to his builder in zirakpur some uh, increase in the boundaries of uh, nayagaon nagar panchayat and some cases of uh, uh, of uh, this uh, amrit sir improvement trust right so uh, a dossier was prepared and shared with three ministers who were who went to meet ahmed patel in delhi to brief him about why siddu was being removed or why because he is non performer in local right. government right after that nothing happened mm-hmm. after that you know he met chief minister there were dialogue for uh, taking him back in the cabinet and uh, you know everything happened no discussion suddenly as siddu you know um, uh, started his uh, you know this uh, uh, war of words on amrinder singh mm-hmm. suddenly you know uh, then there you started because there is no official court in the vigilance right 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 you know it, in in journalism parlance we say it's a planted news you know right 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 because there is no no official version nobody is ready to talk officially about it right so basically they they are trying to you know uh, some papers have carried also the news you know something is happening but there is no fir there is no preliminary uh, F- uh, case registered against him it's only at the inquiry stage that's what the sources say right right so uh, rajmeet uh, where does this uh, pan out i mean the next few days uh, i mean it's been for the last one month or so this been happening uh captain amrinder singh uh, carrying out a scathing attack on uh, navjot singh sidhu sidhu hitting back now pargat singh many listators mp coming in where is the punjab congress headed i mean is this crisis deepening certainly the crisis is deepening uh, everybody is looking towards the party high command 
party high command uh, uh, officially has not intervened and officially we come to know they are trying to inquire trying to intervene but everyone a very pcc senior leader of the ppcc says now that everything is in, in the court of the high command nothing can happen here because on um, mr siddu the chief minister has spoken but he has not commented on action on other mlas on chenni or uh, pargat or whatever so uh, the, uh, the, the crisis is deepening day by day and everybody is anxious even today pratap bajwa you know has uh, you know uh, tweeted a very interesting comment i must share with you that you know had uh, our vigilance department uh, knocked at the doors of badal you know who's act of commission and mission the last 10 years have, we have been talking about as part of the rather they have started haunting our own uh, haunting our own uh, mls and ministers right. so um, uh, the sport is uh, coming but in number game you know uh, the anti amrinder camp i would say i like you say is still not uh, strong okay okay so the numbers still seem to be with uh, the, the the chief minister uh, yes yes Right. Yes. Okay, and also this uh, baffling silence so far uh, from the party high command. We haven't really heard much. This crisis is uh, deepening every passing day, as you mentioned. But a baffling silence as far as uh, party high command is concerned. Yeah, the, the, all the leaders are wondering. Even um, uh, you know, some leaders don't want to come on record. Very senior PCC leaders and ministers, they are all wondering why. You know, uh, the solution is not being found to the simple issue of if uh, the the government is doing. They have arrested six people in sacrilege yesterday. Uh, we have news the SIT has been found. Why they there is no effort to come on one platform? Why there is distrust among different groups? Right. anti abrinder camp pro abrinder camp why this distress or you know as pratap bajwa has uh, today commented that it uh, and pargat has commented that you know uh, the uh, the role of the advisors around the chief minister needs to be proved are they advising the chief minister right why the things are not being allowed to fall in place in the party that is everybody is wondering well thank you so much uh, rajmeen so there you have a baffling silence yeah. of the party high command uh, the infighting continues but doesn't there, there doesn't seem to be an initiative by the party high command to bring these warring factions together even as more and more legislators are coming out some threatening that they've been intimidated uh, the sidhu camp claiming uh, that you know some of its uh, some of mr sidhu in in fact even mr sidhu himself reports of some vigilance pro so clearly a uh, lot seems to be happening on the ground the kind of mess we've seen in the punjab congress of late and uh, the some kind of a silence from the party high command that remains to be seen how it pans out in the next few days uh, that's all we have for you on this uh, special uh, program you can log on to our website tribuneindia.com for further news and updates you can also follow us on our other social media platforms like twitter facebook and instagram meanwhile thanks for watching